Hello there everybody, I'm this is Marvel Blavian 13 here, and now we're going to be doing another episode of Restaurant Empire 2. We just got done our first mission, which is to make about 35 customers in a day, which we got like around 67 or so, and to make 45, about $30,000, but we made like around $61,000. Like 30,000 more dollars than I, what I need for the goal in the first place. And so now, I think I, I think I know how to solve the impolite staff problem. So let's go ahead and continue this thing. Okay, let's see here. Oh, uh, maybe I should... Let me see here if I can restart the scenario. Um... I gotta go restart scenario. Uh, restart the scenario with user error goals. No, I would like to do normal goals. Okay, here we go. Good going, Armand. You're catching on fast. Just do my best to keep... To meet up your expectations, Uncle. So, how did I do? Can I keep Trizit a tip next? Well, not yet. Not quite just yet. You did very well, but there is still more before you can pass the test. Okay, what's the thing about cooking contest? As I told you, Armand, you will know about cooking competitions in due time, but first you need to have your own restaurant. Okay. What do you have me to do now? The top floor of the restaurant is completely empty upstairs, but it's valuable real estate that you can accommodate and attract more diners. Hell yeah. Uh, sure thing, Uncle, is... let's see here. I would like to do that one. Well, actually, there is a kitchen downstairs and the diners may want to eat upstairs. The food delivery will be timeless much longer and nobody wants to have cold soup. Exactly. There are ways around the shark coming, however. I like to know the strategies. One is simply hiring good service. You know, the kind that doesn't engage in idle chit chat all day. They usually deliver food in good time. And your kitchen table placement can greatly affect delivery time as well. Okay, kitchen and table placement. Okay. And when setting up your restaurants, try to minimize walking distances. Okay. Of course, the easiest way is my dumb waiter. Actually, lift the food right up to the waiting station, and voila, no more cold soup. Hell yeah. But uh, these dumb waiters go for an arm and a leg these days. However, if you can afford it, this is the best long-term solution for your time-consuming food deliveries. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna get that dumb waiter. All right, I'll get right on the ball. Our mom, if you can generate forty thousand dollars in monthly revenue and have fifty percent of your customers served on time, the restaurant is yours. Since this is an easy task for you to accomplish, let's say you have only three months to complete this task. Sounds fair? No problem, Uncle. Right then, let's get the ball. Rolling. I'm going to talk to you now about the nuances of a second floor. Having a second floor means you can pack in roughly double the number of customers. It also means the time it takes to deliver the food all the way up from the kitchen takes roughly twice as long, and nothing risks annoying a customer more than a warm dish served cold. We will look into minimizing the delivery time. Now, left click on the interior panel. Notice how the interior panel now only shows kitchen related items? The interior have, panel no, will only show you items relevant to each room. Station, your kitchen comes stocked with most everything you will need, but there are some missing items that you will need to fully equip your kitchen. You One of these processor. is the dumbwaiter. Find the dumbwaiter among the kitchen item thumbnails and add it along there an available empty space. Perfect. Then left click on the next button to continue. Good! Since we're in the kitchen, Take some time to examine the kitchen facilities available in the interior panel that you will work with to pay special attention to the yeah, waiting station. 
waiting station. Every restaurant needs at least waiter. one in the kitchen. Okay, okay, let's hire Since the waiting station is where your wait staff now go upstairs by left clicking on the up look for the upstairs shaft of the dumb waiter. Now, left click on the seating arrangements button. You are looking at the available chair and table combinations okay, available for this Adding restaurant type. The highlighted the button <laughs> shows two seat table sets, okay. complete with a comfort attribute, description, and pricing. Let's add a few sets. Adding table sets is similar to adding floor like space decorations. You remember the from our first lesson, right? When you are done the adding chair and table sets, left click on the next button to continue. Gotta make sure these chairs are spaced out well, otherwise the, my waiters and captains, whatever, would get separated. I mean, you know, like clogging up a drain. We don't want that. Okay, we're gonna need to put up uh, right about here. Yeah. We're spacing these out quite well that way. The waiters can serve the customer's food in time. Thus, cutting down on the delivery. Thus, making satisfied customers. And then they'll come back and spend some more money in our place. Right about here. Okay. And... We're putting a, a matter of fact, let's see here, I think I got, need to put up some more single tables. Right about here. Yeah. Okay, that should be enough of those. And we're going to get more of these. Okay, there we go. That should handle that problem. Well, except for the problem over here, but... Uh, let's go ahead and add, I think, a single table right about here. Right here. Yeah, there we go. And one will be placed right here. No. Okay, that should be good. Then we gotta go downstairs and space out the tables a bit. Yeah, they're too close together. Things are gonna get claustrophobic and stuff. Um, let's go ahead and change these tables as well. Um, let's get rid of these tables. Come on, let me get rid of these tables. Yeah, I just wanna get rid of these tables. Curses. Seems I'm in the middle of that screen still. Okay, so let's just go on up here and upgrade our. Definitely gotta get some lighting in the in the tables. I can't do that yet. Well, um, let's see. Ah, lighting. I fact, flooring. It's gonna be something like this. I think it's already there. Ah, yes, perfect. And the floor would be something like this. Yeah. And the... And this thing here will be around here. Yeah. We're gonna put paintings up on the walls. We gotta make sure we save some room. Right there. Right there. And one right about here. Uh... Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Man, this would be like the ballroom of the of the restaurant. There we go. Yeah, that should be plenty enough brightness, but then I gotta go ahead and add some paintings. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Decorations. I'm gonna add a painting. Oh yeah. We'll add just one painting for now. I'll add some more once I get some more money. Alright. Next thing is to 
get some lamps or candles and stuff on these tables. I definitely gotta replace the tables in the bottom floor, but now I got to hire some a kit hire a second kitchen porter. One will be just straight up doing dishes, and then another one will be used for just straight up operating the dumb waiter. Okay, so we're gonna hire him. Okay, perfect. Okay, um and I read that if your employee's morale is like around 80 to 100, that they would not be impolite to our guests. So I'm going to have to think about raising their salaries at some point. So let's just go ahead and, and do our best. Okay, let's go ahead and hire up some more servers so that way we can have servers up here just on this floor. Can I hire any more servers? Okay, what about captains? Can I hire another captain? I cannot hire any more captains. Okay, so it looks like we're full on the staff. Okay, that's good. And I think we only need one receptionist, but I think I should hire another one, but I think we're good. Okay, good. We gotta go ahead and upgrade our bathrooms, though. Some people like to go to a restaurant just to use the bathroom. You know that is kind of messed up, but that's just the way things are. Oh, wait a minute. You can't do that yet. You click next. Four seat tables are also available, useful for large groups of customers. Yeah, By that. the way, if you haven't noticed, some items, especially flip through some recipes and pay attention to the requires field. See how the icons change with each recipe? Oh, yeah, if yeah. you see an icon, Crips, it means you need that kitchen facility in order to make that recipe. So let's go ahead if it's over and a add green background, it means you already possess that item in your kitchen. Over a red background, it means you need to add that item before you can prepare that particular recipe. Oh, yeah. Left click on the restaurant's kitchen floor. The food processor has to be placed on a preparation. Let's take a look at how you can change your recipe's overall quality. Notice the essential ingredients column. These are the default settings for each recipe. All recipes come with a three-star ingredient quality, the maximum quality rating for essential ingredients. You can adjust an ingredient's quality if you first mouse over the stars of the ingredient you want to adjust. Yeah, I know about that. You will notice a gr You must be wondering at the purpose of demoting a recipe's quality. First, your restaurant may not have a very high rating. If you prepare top-notch food in an average restaurant, customers will not expect to pay so much for their meals. That will cause many an irate customer. Likewise, if you have a very high restaurant rating, customers will be irked by the restaurant's poor food quality. The secret is in balancing your recipe quality with the restaurant's rating, so why don't you try this now? Adjust a recipe's quality so that it has a 1.5 star recipe rating. Okay, so I see because 1.5 recipe rating, which is two stars. Okay, but I'll take care of that in another episode. Just for right now, let's go ahead and do this thing. The more restaurants you have catering to different customer budgets, okay. the more you will need to fine tune a recipe's quality. Excellent. You now know how to save food delivery time as well as different recipe requirements and the usage of different. Okay. Let's see here. And the goal is $40,000 in a month. And we have restaurant group courses served on time, so it has to be 50%. So let's go ahead and work up on getting these tables in order. Because over here, this here spot is going to cause a problem. Let's go ahead and take care of that now.
we have the waiters will have plenty enough room to go over here and plenty enough room to go over there. Okay, that should cut my my food time. And I have like around eight thousand dollars left, so I think the first thing we should do is to get some light on the tables. Oh yeah, it's definitely like a romantic French restaurant. Well, except for these two tables. And I should definitely, I like the glory. Maybe I should adjust that. Let's see here. Yeah, it definitely makes the floor a bit different. We got space for our waiters and stuff, so we are good. Okay. Hey, let's see about the upstairs. All right. Let's go ahead and adjust our staff right now. Uh, I want this guy to operate the dumb waiter only. Okay. And. Our receptionist Thomas, it should be good, but I should indeed raise her salary. That way, she could be polite uh, to our guests. The thing says 80 to 100 percent to get their morale up, so I think this will do. Oh, it's 50. It needs to be like around 80, 70, 74. 78. Okay, 80. 80% 80 on the receptionist. Okay. Um, since he is our server, we're gonna go ahead and raise his salary too. Which I'm hoping that the guys, hopefully that the people are telling me the right thing. Okay, 68. We just gotta get this guy up to the on morale. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, at the uh, Garnier would be on the first floor only. And I definitely gotta raise his morale. Floor 
hard work. Okay, keeping our customers happy at the time. Let's go ahead and raise some this morale up to 80 as well. That's good enough. Okay. okay we got her on the first floor. Oh, uh, let's see here. We got Pumpkin on the second floor. First floor. First floor only. Second floor. First floor. You can't want her on the second floor. There we go. To get rid of the claustrophobia, then she's going to be automatic. No, in fact, she's going to be washing dishes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Cover, cover morale is low. Uh, that might be a bit too much for our waiters. Yep, I knew it. 92. Oh, that's, that's decreasing even more. 69. 74. 37. 8. Perfect. Okay. Everyone's good. Got their morale up. Hopefully there's not going to be any guest complaints. Okay, we're good, we're good, yes. Kitchen porter, yes, we're good. Okay, everyone is gonna be good. Okay, this is gonna rock. Hopefully this will help with the impolite staff problem. Let's do it. Man, my restaurant is really going to work this time. This is going to rock. Let me see my rating this time. Oh yeah, look at that. Environment up to 63 this time. And our service will be going skyrocketing too. And our decoration is very good. And our comfort is definitely going to be good. And exterior and view. Um, definitely gonna handle that problem. Let me see if I can actually upgrade. Okay, so the closest thing I can upgrade would be the elegant street lights. And all the way up to light Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay, and here we go. Gonna get our staff in. They're all gonna be bright and cheerful, ready to serve our customers and to kick ass and be in the restaurant. Because that's what we do in our restaurant. It's to make our customers happy, have a nice experience. Boom, bam. They have a nice day and we get the cash. Come on. I should really open up this place a little bit more earlier. Nah. I think I should be good. Let me see how much I spent, I think. Uh, I didn't go down to my goal. But I can't. Looks like I got none. No money yet. And already at 38%, even though that I that I did not satisfy any customers yet? Huh. Okay, we should be good. Okay, it's morning, and we're about to open up our restaurant, and we're gonna see how good we did. Almost there. Come on, restaurant. Go do your thing.
Hey, come on, restaurant, open up. We're about to kick some ass today. Doing some restauranting. I just want to make sure if I can actually go into adventure mode. Come on, restaurant. Open. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta see what time did I actually get this restaurant opening up. On. I mean, I can't even change the opening times. The Adventures of Restaurant Profit. Because that's going to be the name of the game to achieve max profit in our restaurant. Come on. Wait a minute. Dai. A left click to close down the restaurant. Is the restaurant closed? What the frick? Um. That, okay, did I. Now continue. So it seems that the restaurant is open, but somehow no one's inside. Um, temporarily close the restaurant for renovation? No, just continue. Okay, so it seems that the restaurant's open. I thought I mislooked at some point. Come on, there's potential customers getting out there. Arrgh. Maybe the speed was a bit too fast? Oh, well, I slowed it down. Oh, wait a minute, did I pause it? There. That should help. Oh, no. Okay. Just want to make sure on things. Come on. We want to kick some butt in the restaurant. We want to have like an average restaurant that has the potential of being a romantic getaway. But maybe I should do the bathrooms. Yeah, this will be like our executive bathrooms at a restaurant. Can I do that right now? Yeah, I think there's some customers around. Oh, come on. Is my restaurant that bad that no one's gonna actually gonna go in there? It's a restaurant open. There. Oh, come on. It's the employee morale that. Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah. Here, here comes the staff. Yeah, that's it. Greet the guests. You got two waiters? Okay. So far, our table placement seems to be working. No one's getting clogged up. And... Okay. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We all got the raise in their glasses and cheers, which means they're probably having a good time. Alright. Well, let's see over here. Yeah, yeah. We're kicking ass in this restaurant game. Okay, maybe I should have like more waiters up there on the top floor. I don't have any much money. 
cream of asparagus is prepared with a hack and slash, not like the hack and slash technique you use. Oh, come on, you calling my techniques hack and slash? Okay, and for $13,000 is all that's keeping me from telling you how to properly make it. Okay, so this lady is telling me how to make the cream of asparagus soup for $13,000. <laughs> okay, you can actually buy a car with $13,000. No, I don't have that kind of money on me right now. And you must be insane for actually trying to score big time in my restaurant. Okay. Let's see if we got any complaints now. I'm hoping that we don't have that much complaints on being ruinous and stuff. Okay, at least it's not that huge. Oh, come on. I thought that would work to have the morale up. Maybe see, was it impolite or just rude? It takes some time for the food to arrive. I'm hungry. There you go. Okay, so far the plan is indeed working, knowing that we have a big gap over here for our waiters and our customers to go through. And we make sure that it's not clogging up, clogging up the line and stuff. Okay, we are good. Let me see how much money am I making. Definitely gonna have to work on that, but I think we are good. Um, and... Okay, it looks like we're making $804. And our restaurant group courses is at 58%, which is very good. Okay, so it looks like we're scoring big time. Oh yeah. I love it when there's a smooth operation. Oh yeah, look at that. I think about in a few minutes that I scored like, perhaps a minute or two that I scored like $1,800 in our group courses or jump time went from 54 to 60. So we should be good. Oh yeah. Come on. Do we have any captains here? Um, I gotta check the captains to see if I have to adjust their thing. Okay, let's see here. We gotta go to our captains. Um, first floor only. Um, second floor only. Okay, good. We wanna make sure we have at least one captain up on each floor. Okay. Let's see what she says. <laughs> Dang it! What, what am I doing wrong? Okay. Come on, their morale, everyone's morale should be at 80%. Was it because of the food or was it because of the complaints? Arg. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We're making. 6,000. So it looks like we're doing very good. Okay, our average satisfaction was at 42%. So I think we're doing good. Making that money. Make that money. Make that money, you sons of guns. Make that money. Okay, let me see what they say about being rudeness. Okay, so far, at least it's not everyone. Let's 
see. Let me see how many slurmers do I have on my list. Okay, so it's just impoliteness. And only that it takes food to arrive is 2%. So most of the complaints are coming from these two people, but I don't know if I should boot them. I've scoured a whole world for the best ingredients. They are that I have a fantastic ingredients to show you. The price may be a tad higher as usual. Then again, what is the price of quality? Okay. Do you mind if I show you the price of uh, hot chocolate crab? I don't have any of this in my recipes, do I? Let me see here. Um, eggs, baking flour. Let's go ahead and check out the desserts. I think there's cream fridge, chocolate, um, hot chocolate. No, I don't have any of that. I'm gonna try to score big time in my restaurant thinking that my restaurant's not that good. Let's see how much money are we making. So it looks like it's coming from these two people. That is a problem. It, now this part right here is the problem too. But the seriousness of this problem. Okay, so it takes some time for the food to arrive. I'm trying to figure that out. I got one guy operating a dumb waiter, and one girl just concentrating on the dishes, thus not creating a clog in this area. Okay, I'm working on that problem. Who blames them? Their food arrived late and cold, and maybe you can improve your delivery time to offset the complaints. Okay, I need to think. Okay, I'm setting everyone. Okay, I'm gonna set the waiters to auto, but keep the captains up there. Okay, should be set to auto. There you go. He's also going to be set to auto. Just keep the captains up there, but everyone else set to auto. Hopefully that would work. In case not, I'm screwed. Okay. There we go. That should do it. Let me see what, how much cash do I get. How oh, many? 11,000? Freak, yeah. Let's fast forward this thing. Hopefully that can solve the problems of courses served on time. Darn it. Was I right in the first place? Yeah, I think I was right in the first place. Lack of seating. Oh, come on, if I... Alright. Okay, I need to think. Okay, I can see how much money I made since I fast forward. I made only 12000 Okay, um... Definitely I need to take care of the food problem, but I think I was right in the first place about... Setting up the staff in a certain way, that way it'll cause less conge congestion. Okay, uh, this one over here is set to the first floor only. This one over here set to the second floor. Matter of fact, they should have more on the second floor due to there's more tables. Yeah, let me see how much desk do I have. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I'm gonna set this one the first floor. Set this one to the first floor, then set everyone else to the second floor. Okay, second floor on her. Okay, good. Let's see, second floor, second floor, second floor. Oh, let's see here. Okay, that's second floor, second floor, first floor, second floor. Huh. 
first floor. I just really want to make sure on things. I'm sorry. Let's see here. First floor. First floor. Yes. Everyone else is on the second floor. Okay, that should help with congestion. Okay, let's start this thing. Yeah, everyone's morale should be at 80%, so I'm hoping that would help. Okay. Lack of seating for us people to dine elsewhere. Lack of seating? Okay, let's go ahead and check up on the second floor. Maybe there's a spot I can do. Ah, here we go. I can put something here. But I think I should be fine. I want to make sure that I space things out. There we go. Perfect. Because there is not that much space down here, two waiters would be able to do this floor while the rest of the waiters go up on the second floor and do things. Very good. Let's check. Wait, we're making 21,000. We're doing good. Come on, guys, make that money. 23,000, 24,000, 25,000, 26,000, 27,000, 28,000. Okay, good. But now we were at 61% of that, and average group, average satisfaction is at 45%, 46%. Okay, so it looks like we solved the problem of the, of the cold food problem. And a congestion of staff in the first floor. 30,000. We can actually do it. We can do it, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that go. Oh, yeah. We can do it. We got 60% now. 61. 32,000. Come on. 34,000. Almost there? Come on. 36,000, 38,000. Oh yeah, come on. Mixed casserole pork is prepared in a special way, not like the hack and slash techniques you use. Oh, I'm serious, dude. I could have just thrown you out of the restaurant for saying things like that. But instead, you are our customer, and I will let that slide this time. Alright, all is all that in $20,900 is all you need to keep me from telling you how it's done properly. Your recipe will even improve by 98 points. Shall we talk business? You've got to be kidding me. 20,900, that's definitely, definitely like buying an Escalade. Or perhaps even a Camaro. Or perhaps even a first few payments on a house mortgage. This guy is just asking too much. For improving the recipe by 19 points. He's that's flat out extortion. No. Oh yeah, we did it. We did it. Alright, we got our satisfaction going up too. Okay, food quality leaves me much desired. Yes, I know. I'm working on that problem. Oh, there's the how much money I'm making? Yeah, 51,000. Look at that sucker go. I, uh, I got a phone call, but I'll take care of that very soon. But right now, I gotta keep an eye on this. 56,000. I'm in the middle of something right now. Sorry, that was to a phone call. Hey, come on, let's see how we did. Come on. Man, 58,000. Very good. So it looks like that problem with impolite staff must have been from the morale. I mean, I'll be like that too. I mean, like, 
if someone pays me like more than just bare minimum stuff like that, then yeah, I would feel like the, the cause was hopeless too. I'm in the middle of a phone call right now. I'm in the middle of something right now. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Right now, we solved the problem of the food on time, and we made sixty thousand, which is very good. Matter of fact, it's awesome to make twenty thousand more than the goal says. Armand, I was going to see you. Really? What about? Did you know that the French local cooking competition's on? Now you can enter the French local competition. Hell yeah. Just look up this Stabé de la Grande Cuisine. Thanks, Uncle. I'm going to try to win this one. I'm sure you can. Just remember to always use the very best ingredients. To find out at the st you can find out at the stadium. Oh. Let's see, but I can tell you what I know. That this is more than a beginner's contest, so they will accept any dish that is French. Oui, oui, monsieur. Oh, and then there is always the registration fee for the contest would be a thousand dollars to enter. Okay, so a thousand dollars to enter the contest. That's easy enough. I can use any French recipe then? For this contest, yes. But remember that this is the only first this is the only first to competition. The others will be considerably more difficult to enter and demand better recipes than those you have available. So keep that in mind. I'll be going now, Uncle. I'll see you soon. Next time, I hope it's I hope it's with the trophy. Okay. We gotta go to the restaurant. Okay, let me see if I can actually train my staff this time. Uh, let's see here. Ah, here we go. Should be an information panel. Darn it, I can't train my staff yet. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video from here. But if I'm gonna save it first. Saving it. As S E R no M O R R O W. There we go. See me under tomorrow. All right. Now this is as much time as I can get for Restaurant Empire. So I hope that you all had a good time, and we served up our customers, the customers of justice, and all sorts of things. And I will see you all in the next Restaurant Empire video. Have a nice day, everyone.